Did you know if you're located in any EU country, you can sideload a second app store on your iPhone or iPad? This is Alt Store. So to actually install this, the first step will be to open Safari and it specifically needs to be Safari. This will not work in any other web browser on your iPhone or iPad. If you don't have Safari open, you simply need to click the search button. You just need to search for Safari. And we're gonna be looking for this specific app right here. Once we have Safari open, we're gonna be coming to this URL, altstore.io, simply click that open and it will be brought to this screen. When you first come here, it will be opened up at the very top of the page and you will see something like this. From this point, we're gonna be clicking the get all store button here. It will scroll us all the way down to the bottom. We're then gonna be clicking on the all store pal button here, the download button again. Now, before we actually download it, there is a couple of things I wanna mention as prerequisites that you will need to make sure that you have before you even start this process. So the first one we can already check off the list is using Safari. The second one that's really important is you need to be located in an EU country. So any EU country will be applicable for this. You do also need to have an active EU App Store account that you're already logged into on your iPhone or iPad or have access to one that you can log into. And then the last thing you need to keep in mind is that you're running iOS 18 or more. So this means that you cannot be using a very old iPhone. I'm currently using an iPhone 16, but I think any of the recent few iPhones, I'll maybe put a graphic on screen, will actually be applicable for this. If you meet all these other requirements, we can continue from here. We're gonna be clicking the download button. We're then gonna be getting this pop-up for app installation. We're gonna be clicking okay. From this point, we will then need to open up our settings on our iPhone. Once we open this up, we're then gonna see our Apple ID. We're then gonna see the option here, allow apps from All Store LLC. We're gonna be tapping that open. We're gonna be clicking allow. It's then gonna need your verification. We're then gonna to return to this page. We're gonna be clicking download again. And then here we will finally see this pop-up. We're then gonna click install app marketplace. Again, we're gonna to need to be verifying it with our face ID. This is gonna take a couple seconds and then our app store is gonna install. From this point, we will get no other confirmation or communication about all store being installed. It will actually automatically install in the background. So if we click search and we search for all store, we will see it's now available on our phone. It will also create an app icon. I just moved it to its own individual page here. So now what we can do is open this up you will get the option to allow notifications if you want. In this case, I will allow it. And just like that, we have access to All Store. From here, you have access to everything you would expect at the bottom. You can browse for apps or any other applications that you want to use. So depending on what you're looking for, you can easily access it here. And just like that, you have installed All Store on your iPhone or your iPad. From this point, you can download apps just like you would on the normal App Store by getting free apps directly or by purchasing apps. And you have access to everything here else that you would expect. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. Until next time, guys, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.